Hi, my name is Dr. Udraman and today I'm going to be talking about the relationship between statins and periodontal inflammation and disease. Let's start. So today's episode is actually an inspiration from one of our patients who is under statin therapy because of a post myocardial infarction episode in 2022. That patient actually came up to us with a very weird finding that he said that after he started his statins therapy, his oral health went for a toss. Now, I actually was very surprised because honestly speaking, I had not, you know, dwelled much into the statins and periodontal inflammation. Moreover, I actually did not think that someone would come and tell me that after the statins therapy started, their periodontal inflammation and their all bone loss and everything started becoming much more because usually the literature says opposite. So I went back to the articles and I did my research and I actually found that statins do have a beneficial role in controlling periodontal inflammation as well as overall inflammation of the body. Now let me tell you what statins actually are. Statins are either naturally derived or synthetic drugs that help in lowering your cholesterol levels. Now it has been established that high cholesterol, especially bad cholesterol has been associated with increased risk of uh, you know heart attack and cardiovascular disease and stroke and actually it's a risk it's a proper risk and that's why this class of drugs was you know lipid lowering drugs for making sure that your hyperlipidemia and the body goes down have been created now these can be natural or you know uh, synthetic now they have different names they have different types atorvastatin rosuvastatin and you have uh, you know simvastatin and all these things so their main action is to actually inhibit the enzyme hmg co reductase CoA reductase. So basically, this is 3 hydroxy, 3 methyl glutaryl reductase and coenzyme A. So basically, this is HMG CoA and this reductase the enzyme. And basically, this helps in lowering the lipid, uh, you know, the, the basically the hyperlipidemia, the cholesterol. Now, I will not go into the details of it because this is going to be very, you know, a molecular. Basically, this is the reaction. The cholesterol uh, is reduced, bad cholesterol especially is reduced, the triglycerides. Are reduced the LDL is uh, reduced because of the cholesterol lowering drugs known as statins also there has been a commonality that has been seen between atherosclerosis and periodontal inflammation ba basically we found that there's cholesterol seen in, in both uh, atherosclerosis and in periapical areas and periodontal areas where you can see cholesterol deposits so obviously there must be a common mechanism a common link between the two and that's where statins have been used as adjuncts to non-surgical periodontal therapy as such as scaling and root planing and even as surgical therapy as adjunct in surgical therapy with just local application or systemic application and it has been found in the studies that once you add statins especially in the experimental models it's been found that once you add statins to the therapy the periodontal inflammation goes down a little bit more than what it was without the statins now this has been proved in studies and uh, it basically has a lot of effects the statins have a lot of effects on a lot of things such as reduction of the pro-inflammatory markers that means all of the chemical mediators that cause inflammation there has been found a dis decrease in the uh, concentration of that because of the statins they help in making sure that the inflammation is controlled the c-reactive protein which is a very very strong bio biological marker for atherosclerosis as well as periodontal inflammation it goes down substantially because of statins on top of that on bone metabolism statins have been found to have a contributory role that means when bone metabolism, when we talk about bone metabolism, it is either bone uh, deposition or bone, uh, you know, resorption. Resorption means withering away, deposition means deposition. So deposition of the bone is caused by osteoblasts and statins have been found to help in increasing the number of osteoblasts and delaying the cell death of osteoblasts. And it has been found that there is also a statin contributory effect on the inhibition of osteoclasts. That means the cells that destroy the bones. So definitely there's a correlation and the pathway is very common. I will not go into the molecular aspects and statins have also been found to have antibacterial properties, especially some strains against some strains of bacteria. And in some models as well as experimental studies, it's been found that statins have had a very good role in terms of periodontal healing and regeneration. Now, what is the point of me telling you about this or talking about statins to you? If you are a patient who has high cholesterol is under statin therapy, 
and if you have gum disease you better be very careful about the fact that you need to get your regular checkups done if you have periodontal disease definitely you are at more risk of cardiovascular problems so that's also one way to go if you are an atherosclerotic person as in like you who has uh, at risk of atherosclerosis who has higher cholesterol and is under statins you also need to make sure that you are taking care of your gum disease and gum health very very precariously and very regularly it's absolutely important because of the fact that oral health and overall health have a very very common connection a common pathway of inflammation and everywhere i've in my whatever decade of experience i've seen that everything is contributed towards chronic inflammation now if you keep the chronic inflammation to a minimum you'll be very very safe in terms of gum disease as well as your overall health and that's why it's very important for you if you have high cholesterol please visit your you know medical practitioner and if they give you statins well and good but make sure that at the same time you're visiting your dentist also very regularly almost at a three month interval to make sure that your gum health is in optimum condition if not in pristine condition and you're making sure that your health is taken care of by you at home in a proper way by you know flossing regularly and you know brushing twice and showing your dentist very regularly so this was today's episode please like share subscribe and do press the bell icon for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles and my contact number kindly do not call me or do not try to call me as i might not be able to pick your call i might be busy with patients or otherwise just drop me a message on whatsapp with your queries and i will answer back to you in a couple of days i might take some more time but i will definitely uh, answer back to your queries also if you have any queries doubts apprehensions or insights you can comment in the youtube comment section below so that's it for today thank you <music>